Hello, all of my subscribers. It's Melissa from the Turtle Nail Salon. Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today, I am switching out my Valentine teaser rack to a St. Patrick's theme. I am going to start off with just taking out all of the colors that I no longer want. I'll be removing anything that is lavender, pink, red, or dark red. And then I'm going to remove all of the stamping cards that I've got and I'll be replacing them with some St. Patrick's Day theme. This one is Luck of the Irish CJSH-14 and then I've got my staples in Texture Essentials Wild Kingdom CJS-77, Got Plaid CJS-56, Feeling Lacy CJS-51 Victorian Flourish CJS-46 and Lil Boho Life CJS-116 I like using the last five that I described for any time of the year just because they are so versatile. And then I've got my C&D products as well, the Brisa Gloss Top, Pure White Paint, and Soft White. This one's discontinued, so I'm at the end of my bottle. And the Brisa Bond. And then I've got the Ugly Duckling Prep as well as Primer. And then I've got my Beanie Beauty Box Ultra Shine. This is my bottle for doing chrome or sparkle or glitter. That way I don't contaminate my other top coat. And then my Ultra Matte as well as another bottle of Ultra Shine. And the Ugly Duckling Brush On Glue. Then I've got my C&D Shellac Wear Extender Base Coat as well as my C&D Shellac Duraforce Top Coat. Now I'm just going to move some of my glitter around until I figure out how I want it laid out. I was hoping that all of these would fit into that one spot, but it didn't quite fit. Then I was like, all right then, we'll just move you guys back to where you were. And then I'm going to put in anything green theme that I have. And this is the Martha Stewart Tinsel in Vertilite. The Recollections Emerald in Chunky.
and emerald as well in extra fine. Then I've got citron in extra fine. And pesto in extra fine, as well as in chunky. And then I've got mint. So I wanted to make everything look kind of spaced out because I knew I didn't have as many glitters as I normally do uh, for this particular season. So I just kind of wanted to make it work. Trying to see if I can get all three whites in there and I couldn't. So I took the two golds that are on the end and moved those ones up. So the gold on the end is the Martha Stewart tinsel in Florentine gold. Recollections gold in extra fine. Glitz in chunky. Crystal. Snow. Sparkle and bling. Bling is a beautiful holographic sparkle. And I've got silver and the tinsel. This one I think is called sterling. Yeah, it is. And then silver. And champagne and copper and then I have copper tinsel as well then I've got olive tree and the following are all from glitter Haven Australia regal green it's like a beautiful Christmas green emerald green whatever you want to use to describe it then I have Bavarian Forest. It's almost like a really dark teal green. Then I have Spruce. Spruce is a really pretty, it's like a teal. And this turquoise was a sample, that's why there's hardly any. Then I've got Ice. That one is gorgeous. Then I have Palo Verde. A very minty type green and summer sea and kiwi reminds me of a very light lime green and then leapfrog So I'm just going to move those three gold glitters, the first one being gold tone, and then satellite. Satellite is holographic with a little bit more of a yellow gold. And then sandbar is a beautiful like sandy type gold color. And then for the rest of the glitters, I have Sizzling Sand. It is a holographic. And White Satin. And then Pearl is very similar to the White Satin, only it has a little bit of holographic. Then Silver Moon. And R2, highly... High holographic and lunar lights a very very fine holographic glitter as well and then denim geode that one very very fine as well 
And then I'm going to put in a few of the green foils that I have. what I've got in there is a malachite. It's like a floral pattern on the foil. Then I've got jungle tides, beautiful wavy pattern. And then lime glitter. So it's basically like a glitter with some stars in it. Luau lights, horizontal lines, vertical lines, depending which way you turn the foil. And then this green one, I barely have any left. I have no idea where it came from. And that is the finished look of my teaser rack for St. Patrick's Day. Thanks for joining me today and watching my video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and ring the bell. That way you'll be notified every time I post a video. Bye!